Uh, yeah, that one was tough. Um, so I only applied to two grad programs. Um, UCI was one of them, obviously, and then I applied to Brown University, and I got into both. Um, and there was nothing about either of the programs that was really like, that stood out and was like, well, this one's obviously better than the other one. Um, so for me, it was more of like where I wanted to be um, and what I was comfortable with. Um, and so I'm a local Southern Californian and I wanted to come home and be closer to family. Um, but also I was scared of the cold <laughs> and I knew that it was really cold in uh, Rhode Island, so <laughs> kind of it. <laughs> Choosing UCI was pretty easy. Donovan was one of the first people I emailed and he emailed me back and was like, your research sounds really cool, a smiley face. And I remember crying because I was like, oh my God, I might actually be able to get into grad school. Um, and then just talking to Donovan and working with him on a GRFP was a really great experience. And then coming to UCI for recruitment, I mean, we went to Shake Shack on the beach overlooking the ocean and then they took me to Disneyland. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty straight shot, but I pretended like I wanted to go other places. Other places were good too, but not as good as UCI. A lot of the questions I'm becoming to get more interested in um, have to do with muscle and how muscle as a tissue evolved. So it, I really like that it gives you the freedom to kind of find what's interesting. So I made my decision based off of the, I guess, of course the research, but also the PI. The best advice that I got was, it doesn't really matter about the research, but if you don't have a PI or mentor that can't support you and help you finish your PhD, then it'll be a lot worse. And I know that um, I've heard experiences of people who love their research, but don't have supportive PIs and actually end up not finishing, as opposed to having supportive PIs and um, also having good research and so I I decided to pick the nicer PI. <laughs> Ultimately um, what made me decide UCI was that uh, it's kind of like the feel I had for the advisor so here my advisors like he's just very um, he allows a lot he allows you a lot of freedom I'd say uh, it kind of to me felt like the dynamic of like that crazy uncle where like you go and stay in his garage for a summer and like or whatever like attic kind of thing uh that's beside the point but like you know you're staying with him over the summer and like he kind of just gives you your space to do like what you need to do um and you know if you have or like run into trouble like he'll help you out kind of thing um and so i really liked that freedom um because i could choose to do projects that i was interested in I feel like it was a really good fit. Um, so there's a lot of Cal State Fullerton UCI connections. So like everyone at UCI that uh, everyone at Cal State Fullerton that I interacted with, they knew Donovan already. And they all had every nothing but great things to say about him. Uh, and JJ is also awesome as well. Uh, but in terms of like research topics, it's an easier fit because uh, Donovan does a lot of marine stuff, and I already, and I just dipped my toes in the marine world. Uh, so I felt like it was an easier transition going from Doug Ernesty's lab to Donovan German's lab. Um, and like Doug and Donovan know each other well. Um, I've actually met one of Donovan's uh, grad student students, Alyssa uh, uh, Fredericks, uh, back in 2015. Uh, so we were, so I, I, I didn't actually know who her PI was until I, I talked to her and then she says, oh, I'm, uh, I'm applying to grad school at UCI. And she's like, oh yeah, talk to my PI. So I didn't actually put two and two together until like later on in the application process. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like, it was a great fit. Uh, this, this lab, like interacting with Donovan and his students just make it felt like home. When I was making the decision, I thought more, I guess, of like what where would I be able to reach my goal of because um, I want to like either start my own wildlife sanctuary or work in wildlife research. So a lot of it was like, where can I reach that goal that I have and where can I feel supported enough where I can actually reach it? And um, I think just knowing that working with Donovan 
beforehand in undergrad was helpful for me to know that I would be supported and have a supportive advisor. And seeing that that is not common in the academic world and also at vet school as well, at least in terms of my experience. Um, and so to me, that was really like the selling point for this program is knowing that I could reach my goal while also being supported throughout graduate school.